Well, it felt great outside for a little while, and today we just get all of this rain. Please tell me that this weekend is going to be very clear. We got a bunch of events planned. We need a clear homecoming weekend. Actually, it's going to clear up all tomorrow. It's going to be nice and sunny this weekend and ready for the game. It's actually going to warm up a little, but be, still be nice and cool. So I'll have more information on that after the break. Welcome back. This is your NSU Weather, and I'm Kelly Otto. So, as most of y'all heard earlier today, we all heard those sirens going off saying tornado warning, but it has been lowered. It is now a tornado watch until 7 p.m. in the area. All this rain is coming up from the Gulf, moving north. Most of the, all the heavy stuff has passed us, but there is this tail end over here that's still coming towards us, so it's still going to be raining tonight, but it should be cleared by tomorrow. Our high right now is 73 degrees, but the humidity is 94%, so it feels even hotter than it is outside. But it is cooling down, so that is always a good thing. As you can see, there is a cold front coming through. Shreveport right now has already dropped into the high 60s, but Baton Rouge right now is still 75, and Alexandria is still 73, so it's still in the 70s, but it is dropping down. So, closer look. It is. The cold front is coming through. Dallas right now has already hit the 50s, and Oklahoma City has dropped already into the low 50s. So a cold front is coming through, and it will be cooling down, but it's going to be nice and cool this weekend, though. Minneapolis right now is 43, so that cold front is coming down towards us. Memphis is still 66. Everywhere else is still very nice. But that moisture is coming up from the Gulf of Mexico, and it's heading northeast right now, so it's hitting most Mostly all through the Midwest, it's the heaviest parts are down here in Louisiana and south of Texas, but it has passed us, so it is moving northeast of us. Closer look, there is this tail in right here that we are still going to get, but all that red stuff, it's where all those heavy tornadoes warnings were, and they are all past them now, but it's still a watch outside. It's still going to be, there's 30% chance of rain tonight, so if you're going anywhere, make sure you have an umbrella just in case because we still have that tail end that's going to hit us with some showers. But our low tonight is going to be 50, so it's going to be nice and cool tonight. And tomorrow it is dropping into the 60s. Finally, it's going to be 68 degrees and sunny, so that rain will be gone tomorrow. And here's a look at our five-day forecast. It is going to be nice and sunny this weekend for our wonderful homecoming events. It's going to be 74 degrees, so it's going to be cool and not too hot for that game that we have Saturday. It is going to be raining again on Monday, so don't put those umbrellas up just yet. I'd keep them out just in case. There is a chance of rain on Monday, and it's going to be 73 degrees, but it is cooling down, so it's not getting too hot the rest of the week. Tuesday's not getting any higher than 77 degrees with some clouds, so it's going to feel nice and cool outside. And that is a look at your NSU weather. We'll be right back after the break. Welcome back to NSU News, I'm Doug Perry. Students and faculty attend NSU's Journalism Department's first News Makers and Shakers seminar of the semester to hear a graduate of the program speak. NSU's Jeffrey Scholler brings us the story. He carries around a backpack, but he doesn't attend classes. But yet, he still encourages learning. The News Maker and Shakers Forum had a special guest speaker, Journalism Department alumnus Josh Green, came to talk about new frontiers in the merging media. Many journalism majors come out to the forum to listen to Josh Green. Surprisingly, there were a lot of freshman journalism majors present. Some took notes, while others listened, getting a new insight into the field of journalism. 
As for freshman journalism major Taisha Johnson, she gained a little more than just some general knowledge. I'm excited to come out and to hear him talk because he's been where I want to go. And I learned something new about journalism. I learned something new about the field that I could take on for a lifetime. Green not only talked about his personal life in journalism, but also gave some advice to future journalists as well. I think that they need to realize what we do is still an intricate part of American society and is going to be the rough draft to American history. The Newsmaker and Shakers Forum will have another speaker in the spring, but it looks like they're off to a great start. Doing is not brain surgery. Uh, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to be a journalist, but you have to be very common sense. Reporting for NSU News, I'm Jeffrey Scholler. Dr. Julie Kane, professor of English here at NSU and nationally acclaimed poet, has composed a ballad paying tribute to Isabella, the campus ghost, which will be recited at the homecoming luncheon this Saturday, October 24th at 12.30 p.m. in the Natchitoches Event Center. Kane wrote the ballad of Isabella for NSU's 125th anniversary celebration. As she is such a part of Northwestern State's rich history, Isabella now inhabits Nelson Hall, the National Center for Preservation, Technology, and Training. It is the oldest building on campus, 86 years old to be exact, and was the women's gymnasium back in the day. Tickets for the luncheon are $20 and can be purchased at www.northwesternalumni.com slash luncheon or by contacting Connie White at the alumni office at 318-352-4270. Tickets for the luncheon will also be available during the day.